What's up? This is Atark here from smartbytrans.com and uh, this is the Insta360 go to like that tiny little camera. So I have reviewed and talked about a bunch of Insta360 cameras on the channel before and this camera is a bit different. For a starter, it's very tiny. Uh, it's not a 360 camera. It's not a 360 uh, angle view type camera but it is a powerful camera uh, in its own way and it fits into the Insta360 ecosystem. And if you are familiar with Insta360, you know that one of their main strengths is their mobile app and how easy it is to do all kinds of things using their mobile app to create some pretty cool videos out of their cameras to post to your social media or use for videos if you are a video creator. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some shots, some examples of how I use this camera on my bike Insta360 did send me this camera to play around with uh, and make a video for you guys. But before we get into all the cool different shots and angles, let me quickly run you through the specs. It records in 1440p at 50 frames per second. It has an amazing flow state stabilization. It records HDR videos. You can do hyperlapse. You, you can do slow motion videos. It's waterproof up to four meter or 13 feet. And the case itself is not waterproof and you will see a warning label on the side basically telling you that. It has a magnetic uh, back so it can be mounted on any metal surface and in the box they included this magnetic pendant which uh, you can use and tuck inside your shirt or jersey and uh, the camera will just attach to it just like that. It's pretty strong. I've never had an issue with it falling off uh, during a ride or anything like that. And it doesn't matter how you mount the camera. Uh, it always has a horizontal level, so it doesn't matter if you twist it or if it's not perfectly leveled. The runtime is 20 minute in pro video mode uh, when uh, out of the case. The case itself acts as a charger and can get you up to 30 minutes of recording time. And the case has a pretty cool legs like a tripod. And uh, this tiny camera will cost you $300. Okay, on to the fun stuff. Uh, and speaking of fun stuff, if you find this video helpful, take a second to hit the like button down below. It helps the channel and also consider subscribing so you do not miss any videos from me in the future. Okay, let's talk about the available mounts that it comes with so you know all the mounting options you have out of the box. In the box, you get the magnetic pendant, the pivot stand, and this easy clip. Now, Insta360 also sent me this mount adapter bundle, which you can get for $20. And I will link to all of this in the description to make it easy for you guys to find all this stuff. The go-to adapter bundle comes with all these things, basically three additional mounts, thumb screw, and a flat base and curved base. Okay, the top tube shot. Uh, you can do this angle by using the camera sticky base mount along with the magnetic prong mount included in the adapter bundle. I'm using a slightly different mount here uh, that was included in the Insta360 bike bundle because it was already there, but you can get the same results using the sticky base mount along with the magnetic uh, prong mount included in the go-to mount adapter bundle. And this is the view you get. This is probably one of my favorites because you get a low angle point of view uh, showing the handlebar and your hands. Uh, you can also play with the position and maybe attach it to the stem instead to get a higher angle. In this shot, I use the easy clip that was included and some zip ties uh, that were also included to attach the easy clip to the front fork. Uh, this is a cool angle shot showing the front wheel. This would be very cool too if you are riding in a group and showing all the action around you at this low angle. For this shot, I used the pivot stand included with the camera, then attached the pivot stand to the back of the uh, seat post. I would probably angle this a little further away from my legs to get more of a side view angle. Could be a very cool angle as well if you are in a group ride and get a side view of all the action going around you.
This is your basic helmet view angle. You can't go wrong with this helmet view for a higher angle shot of everything around you. You can use a sticky base mount along with the magnetic prong mount for this one or the magnetic screw mount and the screw attachment which you can also find in the bike kit bundle. Behind the seat is another favorite of mine, but not really practical because of basically this. I'm using the selfie stick here, extended all the way for a wider angle. Again, using the selfie stick, this time I attached the selfie stick out front using the K-Edge by computer uh, in the front and the camera mount. The GoTo comes with this magnetic uh, pendant, which you can use under your jersey, and the camera will just stick to it. This is perfect for a point of view angle type shots. Okay, hope I showed you some good example of what you could do with this Tanel camera. Because of its size, there is so much more you could do and places you can mount it on, and I would love to know more how you guys use it. So let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite shot? And if you get one, let me know how you use it let's chat down in the comments. Uh, I will link to this camera down in the description and other Insta360 cameras that I use. These are affiliate links, so I will get a small portion of the revenue for it. It doesn't cost you anything extra at all, but will help support this channel. This is pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and make sure to subscribe if you are still watching and have not subscribed yet. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.